I'm about to show you how you can use your accent punches to create borders. Now the accent punches can be used with the pick and punch system along with the edges to create several different uh, border details. However, they can also be used on their own. Put one of your accents into the border system and place your two markers either side at 3.5. Put your card in the centre and make your first punch. Moving your card along the border system, line up the centre of the marker with the very edge of the punch in the same way that you've done the pick and punch system. And as you can see, they've created a pattern equally spaced. Now there's actually a ridge on the border system which you can place your punch on and this will allow you to get a much closer edge to your card. Place your punch in the right position and push down all the way to the end. Again in the opposite direction, holding your card in place. And then when you remove this, you can see it's right on the edge of your card, equally distanced apart. However, you can also alternate them. By placing your accent punch in the ridge there, just below the normal position for the punch, place your card and make the punch. You can then push it in completely, lining up the centre of the marker with the edge of the punch, and then again back down to the lower point. And what you'll do is create a nice wavy, zigzaggy effect simply by alternating the position of the punch, like this. You can also alternate maybe two or even three different accents. For example here, I'm using the heart at the lower position, placing my card in the centre, removing it, and then replacing it with the flowers. Again, keeping the markers at 3.5 in exactly the same position and replacing the edge again so that it just fits on that ridge and you get this alternating effect.